Hi there. In today's sports graphic design tutorial, I'm going to show you the two best ways to cut a person out of a photo. The first method we're going to use is the quick selection tool. So you want to start off big with the quick selection tool to get the majority of the body in the selection. You can adjust the size of the quick selection tool with the left and right brackets. And once I get the main chunk of the person selected, I start to go smaller in size and go down to the little details. If you need to deselect any part of the selection, hold Alt and click anywhere where you want to take away from the selection. Now that I have the player selected, I want to create a layer mask by clicking this little icon down here. This takes away the background without deleting it, which is what we call non-destructive editing. That way you can make adjustments without losing any progress you have already made. And you don't want to forget this area where his fingers are around the ball. Now I'm going to make a new layer, move it to the bottom, and fill it with a bright red. This lets you see if your edges are clean or not. This can be any color really, but the red gives a lot of contrast between what I'm looking at. With the mask layer selected, you can go add or subtract the detail on the edges of the player using your brush and the black or white color. Go ahead and clean up those edges and we'll keep going. Now we're going to duplicate this layer, delete the mask off of the bottom layer, and now we can do all kinds of artistic things like add adjustment layers. You could make the background black and white or change the color, or maybe throw a color on top of the black and white layer. Play with the blending modes. For this effect, I like to use the hard light blending mode. This is a common graphic design style you'll see in sports. Now if we add a stroke to the layer that we did the mask on, you can see the edges in even more detail than when we had the red background. As you can see, it looks pretty clean, but if you zoom in a little bit more, you can see that the edges are a little bit jagged. This is fine for most cases, but if you wanted to do a cool graphic design style where it looks like a comic book, it's not going to be the cleanest method which I'm going to show you how to do in the second method to cut out a player. Also, if you wanted to send this to a company to get it printed on like a fat heads or poster cutout type of thing, you would definitely want to send them a cleaner cut than just using the masking tool. So what's the second method? The second method is using the pen tool. You're just going to take the pen tool and turn off the stroke, turn off the fill, and you're just going to trace around the edges of the person that you're trying to cut out. I'm going to speed the rest of this tracing part up for time's sake. Once you're done tracing, just right click on the path and click make selection or control click the layer of the path you just made. Now click the layer of the photo and click mask. There you go. You basically just did what we did in the first method, but as you can see when we add a stroke to this one, the lines are a lot cleaner. It's smoother, it just looks way much better. Now if you wanted to adjust the mask, you could just adjust the path shape that you made and delete the previous mask and create a new mask on top of the player layer. Or you could move layers around. By moving the player on top of the shape layer you just made, you could clip it to the path shape holding Alt and then click. And now you can just adjust the shape path and it'll update it real time rather than adjusting the shape path and then having to delete and re-click the mask back and forth a million times. And now you can do all the cool effects in the background if you want to. But if you move the player around, 
you're gonna have to move the path shape layer with it. I would just group those two layers together. These are the two best methods I've learned to cut a player out of the background. And I've worked in sports for minor league baseball teams like this one, the Winston-Salem Dash and the WNBA. And the person that taught me this has gone on to work for the NBA and, and has worked on a lot of graphics for teams in various sports. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more sports graphics tutorials.